Okay, so I'm going to apologize for having crappy internet connection right now. And if I look like crap. But it happens when you have a dose. <coughs> first thing I'm going to talk about is when I first went grocery shopping. After being diagnosed with sarcoidosis, um, I was put on prednisone. It's the first medication that they usually use to put you on. There's no cure, so don't ask why we're put on that. But it makes us bigger, as you can tell. Before this illness, I was 132 pounds. <coughs> I gained over a hundred pounds thanks to prednisone. But anyways, um, the first time we went grocery shopping at Walmart, got a lot of stares, dirty looks, glares, um, whispering, people talking bad. And it's hard for me to get around anyways because of sarcoidosis. So it's hard for me to even go outside, so I do when I can, and I don't ache as bad. But that first day, I'm not used to anyone treating me that way. So when we laughed, it was hard for me. I was in tears. And I don't like to cry in front of people. I don't like to feel weak. But my man was concerned. And I told him just, it's fine, so let's just go. I've had the same results at movie theaters. And one fast food place. I don't eat fast food that often, but we were doing laundry and was mistreated. Um, just because a person's big doesn't mean it's from eating too much or sit on the couch eating junk food or whatever they could be battling an illness that's killing them like me either way it's no one's business and you should treat people like you to want to be treated but that's not how the society works anymore now when I go out it's I don't get those stares as often thank god or called names or talked about about But it is getting harder for me to get around grocery shopping, even with my walker. We went to Super Saver, and Super Saver is a lot smaller than Walmart. <coughs> and I had to stop every so often just to catch my breath. This illness, sarcoidosis disease, just in case you don't know about it, it attacks all organs, nerve system, muscles, bones and skin. There's not a part of your body that's not affected. I was diagnosed with it in my eyes September 2015. My vision's blurry. It was so bad I couldn't see the person in front of me. I couldn't tell you if it, they were a man, woman, black, white, whatever. Couldn't tell you. I don't drive just because I can't see. I don't want to injure myself or anyone else. Going outside is very hard, especially when it's hot outside. Well, <clears throat> I was diagnosed with it in my lungs April 24th, 2016. I had a biopsy done on both my lungs April 20th, 2016. My doctor uh, was a general, or is a general in the military, and is amazing pulmonary specialist. He couldn't do my biopsy because he was needed in the military. Um, but he was sweet enough to call me on his day off and tell me it was sarcoidosis. Little did we know how serious that was. 
and how horrible this disease is. We're suffering every day. We're fighting every day to just to be alive. <clears throat> so we don't need to fight with anyone else or argue. I have kicked out family members for that reason. I only want positive around me. I'm not going to fight. I need all my energy just to stay alive. And the other day, <coughs> I was getting out of the tub and I started putting on my pajamas because if I don't go anywhere, that's what I wear in my pajamas. Because getting dressed and even just taking a bath takes a lot out of you. But <clears throat> just getting my underwear and my pajama pants on, I, well, first when I was putting my underwear on, got a sharp pain in my back, on my right, well, left side, sorry, and when I was putting my pajama pants on, got a sharp pain on both sides, it hurt really bad, it still does, I can't get around now in my apartment without my walker, I can't get out of my recliner, which I sleep in because my back's curving inward. So it's the only place I can get semi-comfortable. I have to have my air conditioning on all the time. And the fan going. Just so I can breathe a little bit easier. We have good days, bad days, and worse days. As long as it's not a worse day, I'm okay. I don't want to feel like I'm on my deathbed ever again. But I have trouble getting around now since I did something. And the hospital can't do nothing about it. The doctors can't do nothing about it because there's no cure for strictos. I can't take paid meds because they're afraid of messing up my body even more because of sarcoidose. So I just have to deal with the pain and suck it up. So I do the best I can. Last night I was scared. I was going to have to call and have my man come home because I couldn't get off the toilet. It hurt so bad. I was in tears. Sometimes the pain's so bad that we just want to give up, but we can't. I keep fighting for my family, my children, especially, <clears throat> and my loved ones. And I also keep fighting for the rest of us that have strepidose because we need a cure. We don't need to suffer like this. No one does. So hopefully there's a cure found soon so no one in after us has to suffer. I try to bring awareness as much as possible. This illness takes a lot out of us. We lose family members. We lose a lot. And we're still fighting every day to stay alive. If we get a cold, our flu can kill us. So, I hope your day's full of blessings and pain free. And if you can move around your place and take a bath and get dressed and do dishes and laundry and shopping without any problems, know that you're blessed because a lot of us can't. And I don't tell you guys this for you to feel sorry for me. I'm telling you so you know what we're going through. The people that have sarcoidosis. So you know. And there's awareness. People need to know how horrible this disease is. It's not a joke. We don't want people to feel sorry for us or anything like that. We just want you to know. That <coughs> there might be other things out there stating that it's not that bad. But it is. It's a horrible horrible disease that we suffer every day there's not a day that we don't suffer there's days that might be better than others but we're still suffering and it's hard for us to do anything we're not lazy we're dying and we're fighting to stay alive every day and that's the only reason I tell you guys I'll tell, talk about stuff that other people think are taboo because people need to know the truth about this illness I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'll tell you what I'm going through. When I'm going through it. 
But anyways, that's all I gotta say, and I hope your day's full of blessings. I'm still here, so my day's full of blessings. Though I'm in a lot of pain, I'm still here. And God bless you, and bye.